Hey, he's going. Dusty bogan here. So I'm just jumping in on the bandwagon, <laughs> like I always do. Chip in my two cents. Um, so I just woke up this morning and I was reading the news and um, I seen this thing about the New York abortion laws that have been changed, which is, you know, pretty much the same laws that have been passed. They just passed in Queensland, where I'm from. <clears throat> we have like a two goblins who um, passed that law, Jackie Trad and Anastasia Palaget. So, you know... I know how you feel, it's a terrible thing. So I know it was a few days old, this this news, but I, I was like, oh, yeah, this abortion law, have a read. Um, I think I seen it on YouTube as I was scrolling down, so I thought, oh, yeah, I'll see what's on, on there. Looked up Google and bang, it comes up. First article, it's like Hillsong passed, New York Hillsong passed the Carl Lance I think that's how you say his name. Rejects. He's sort of what do you call him? <clears throat> what do you call him? You called him some like some cool thing. He said he said it was shameful and demonic. Pretty tough words, eh? Pretty staunch. So old Carl, good on you, mate. Thumbs up. <laughs> good job. The Aussie Church that's gone international. Old Hillsong. Go check it out if you live in New York, eh? You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, they give, I give them the tip of the hat. Old Hillsong once again. Good church. Good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. And I'm glad, I'm glad old Carl, you know, sometimes these, these pastors, they don't have the guts to say anything. So, you know whatever the law's in it's not good but you know what i mean i'm glad that there's a hillsong new york has stood up stood against it and uh you know and then i read another article about and it was something about the catholic church in new york too the bishop there he was also saying it wasn't good enough so good on the catholic church they kind of like it's a funny thing i, I pop in a hillsong i used to go to hillsong seven years before I ch moved out moved too far away so I changed church but that's still good and and you know for Easter and Christmas I go to the Catholic Church you know I guess just because my mum's uh, my aunt you know mum's side of the family Irish Catholic so it's just like a cool thing to do just to honour that side of the family and I'll tell you what I always enjoy going to the Catholic Church and you know what? They always stand up. They always stand up. They're not afraid to have a say about these things. So good on them. Because when we had our anti-abortion laws, like in Brisbane, they passed you know, abortions beyond 22 weeks. All they needed was a second signature from a doctor. And it's late-term abortion, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's not really good. And... um heaps of catholics there that's where if you look if you scroll down this youtube channel you'll see where the old catholic lady and um we're there at this rally um and you know just just awesome i actually i think that was the anti-safe school rally i mixed it up but she wasn't she was awesome this um awesome catholic lady there got Antifa bloody came up to her and abused her and she had a, like a Jesus sign was like get back and it was I wasn't quick enough with my camera I was like oh and it was all over I think the cops broke it up but she was awesome and I've seen them seen the Catholics getting around getting out to these rallies standing up um standing up so you know I've got some story story time you ready when I went to New York um, I went to Hillsong, New York. Carl Lance, I think that's how you say it. He um, he was preaching. It was pretty good. It was a good church. They had church in New York. It was like, I think the first service might be like 8.30 in the morning. And there's like back-to-back -back services. Like the last service at night was like 9 o'clock at night. Just bloody, I don't know. They must have like eight services on a Sunday. It was crazy. And... um. 
we went and it was pretty cool. We went story time, went to church, then we left. We got a cab back to Times Square. It wasn't far. Hillsong was near like, I think it was Madison Square Garden or somewhere. Wherever you guys played baseball in New York. <clears throat> Don't know if I got that right. It was just around the corner. And um yeah, we got a got a cab back to New York and I'm in the cab. Oh yeah, talking to cabbie. I think there was a three, four of us so I had to sit in the front seat with the cabbie, so we're chatting and he's like, What are you doing? It was some Muslim. I'm like, I just came from church, mate. Hillsong. I don't know if you heard it, nah. And we were just having a real good chat and it was real cool. And you know, I've read the Quran. Got my got my Tommy Robinson Quran up there. Bang, it's good ones. Tommy Robinson got the uh, made the Quran in chronological order. So I probably read read the thing read the whole Quran, maybe gone through it twice, went through it, studied it. Third time, I probably could do it, have another crack at it again, refresh my mind, because it's always good, like this guy talking to this dude, and I'm thinking, well, you know, they like Abraham, the Muslim, so we were just talking about Abraham and getting into it, and, um, you know, he's the father of faith. Anyway, we were going through, bang, 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 and then, you know what, by the end of it, he's like, mate, how do I become a Christian? How do I, I want to be saved. I want to be a Christian. I want to... And I was just like, yeah, mate, no worries. Well, believe in your heart, confess in, with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you will be saved. I'm like, mate, just go get a Bible and go to any church that teaches from the Bible will do. But you can go to Hillsong. You live in New York. Go to Hillsong. He's like, I will, I will. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And I'm like, that was freaking awesome. Converted a Muslim in Times Square, and it was like, Open the door. I was like, see you, mate. Open the door. Bang. In the middle of Times Square. Um, <clears throat> and I think, like, that year, Hillsong, you know, that big with that music, they had that no other name album. Was that worship album? And it was actually the front cover of the album was Times Square. But it was just, like, all the, all the screens and LEDs were just, like, no other name. Obviously, and um, and I was like, it was just a cool thing. Just convert this Muslim, open the door, bang him in Times Square, and I think I was holding the album in my hand. I was like, dude, that was that was hard out. So, good story time there. Actually happened. I could totally tell the feel of New York, but um, you know, like the Rockefeller Center. You walk in, you go inside of the foyer. And it's very like these, it was like a painting, a picture, a big mural of men like building the city, like these men who are like gods in the clouds building a city of steel. It was very like humanistic, atheistic, had like a the feel of it, like, you know, like men trying to be like gods, a bit of a weird vibe I could like feel. I was just like, oh, I think the original Rockefeller dude was a Christian. And um, but I think the families drifted away from that a bit. And there's all them conspiracies around them guys, but whatever. I just noticed, I just noticed the murals and you know the big statue with the steel with the globe on the back of the dude. And I'm like, yeah, this is a bit weird. And it was cool, you know. <clears throat> it was still cool, and I appreciated it. But yeah, New York, I think it's the the city of dog dads and cat mums anyway. So there's got to, there's work to be done in New York City and I'm just so glad there's a mad Aussie church right in the heart of New York City. Probably help you guys out. You know what I mean? And you know, you just need to start bringing back the the family values, the good and good kind of normal christianity that's like fun and it's just good i'm telling you if you i would invite you now here's your invitation you're from new york go go to hillsong new york check it out that's what all someone said to me was that and i was an atheist and i went and mate 13 years 14 years later never stopped going to church because it was actually good 
and um, enjoyable and I could see the value in it just culturally. And, um, you know, another cool thing I remember in New York, we went to the old Natural History Museum, pretty cool. Disappointed in the lack of dinosaur um, bones. The um, Natural History Museum in London might have had a bit more of them, but it was still cool. There was one area that was like the cosmological area, like the Big Bang area. You see it on movies and stuff all the time, that particular area. And I was in there and I'm like, yeah, I love it. I love this stuff. You know, I love a bit of Christian apologetics and um, read a few books about all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I was standing there looking at the Big Bang thing, reading this mural, reading this thing, explaining all this stuff. Very obviously naturalistic, atheistic, promoting that belief system, the false religion. And um, seeing this Latino, maybe Mexican lady, she was some Latino lady. She's looking at this little placard and it's like reading it about the Big Bang and all this like naturalistic, atheistic propaganda. And she was like crying, hey, she was probably like a Catholic lady, probably like devastated her. And I just remember looking at her I'm like, it's fucking sad, isn't it? <clears throat> Maybe it like chipped at her faith <clears throat> or something like that. And uh, I just thought to myself, yeah, that's fucking terrible, isn't it? When I was an atheist and I came to church and slowly got on that journey, and I do believe, I think what they should have had there at that big bloody section of the museum, they should have just had like a fucking jar, an empty jar, lid on it, and just be like, this is how the world, this is how we believe the world started. Just empty jar. Yep. Just everything got created from nothing and to me that's just a lie i need to get a jar i might get like a jar in every episode there's just like this episode you know every every autistic rant i do <laughs> half cut rant dusty rant there'll just be this empty jar sitting here with nothing in it maybe i could run you know Maybe in 13 billion years it will create all this. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yeah, cheers, eh? Thanks, Hillsong, New York, for having the guts and all the Catholics. Bloody good on you. I'll give you the tip of the hat. I'll see you around. Cheers, eh?